Hello, family. So I'm here with uh, Eric of the Soul Food Joy, and he's just going to talk to us a little bit about why they made the move to the Gambia and how it is better and easier for us to succeed here. And I think you're going to find what he shares with you to be very informative. And in a forthcoming video, I'll show you his and Nicole's new spot, Soul Food Joint, right on the beach. Right. And this is Eric, co-owner of the Soul Food Joint. Hello, hello. And where are you from, Eric? Where did I you guys am, come from? I'm originally from Birmingham, Alabama. My wife is from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and uh, we lived in Texas for 15 years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what made you leave Texas and come to the Gambia? Um, actually, it wasn't an idea that just uh, popped in our head by chance. Um, <clears throat> it was a buildup, you know. And I like to tell people that we didn't we didn't come here on vacation. We didn't come because we wanted a different way of life necessarily. We came because we escaped, you know, uh, Babylon. You know, yes. and I just I just had to say tell the truth. You just know? keeping it real. And so, um, you know, pretty much. In making that decision, I, I can say in six months, we've been able to do more than we've been able to accomplish in America for over 40 something years. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's so, amazing. so what kinds of things have you been able to do here in the six month time that you've been here? Well, originally, um, my plan as a man and the head of my family was to get a place to stay and to secure a stream of income. Uh, because um, in the Gambia, you know, you want to come impacting the uh, environment and impacting the economy. You know, I wouldn't say come here looking for a job. I would say come here and realize your potential to be a business owner, you know. And so um, when we got here, you know, those were my two things. And um, within 30 days, I was able to establish uh, the restaurant that we have now and um, uh, established a brand and build. And in four months, uh, we this is our fifth month, but in four months, I met budget. Wow. And you know, usually they tell you, you know, it's two to three Several years. Several years, yeah. yeah. Before you can really see a profit. But I met budget and this month I am making profit. Yes, congratulations, <laughs> brother. So it is amazing. Also, I was able to establish uh, a place to stay and uh, we're moving to phase two. Phase one for me was to get uh, a stream of income and establish a place to live. Phase two was to get my land and to build uh, uh, our home and whatever else we want to build on our property. And uh, we, as of today, are starting uh, moving into phase two. Wow, as congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, so, so when I say it, it is, uh, pales in comparison to the West because there are a lot of systems there, you know, that keep people that look like me, color my skin, you know, um, um, at a certain level, you know, and you can ex succeed if you are aggressive, but you're going to hit a ceiling mm -hmm. and that ceiling is going to keep you in that place. And you'll find yourself, if you don't do anything about it, 40 years later, retiring, you know, uh, with a watch, you know, and a pension. If they don't loot it. If they don't loot it. Yep. Know? So, um, you know, I'm encouraging everybody to look into Gambia. Uh, I'm encouraging them to, you know, um, do your research and uh, consider coming and visit. Even if you don't want to do like us, we, we got a one-way ticket. We've never been to the continent. We've never been to Gambia, uh, the country. And so, we, but we did get a one-way ticket because we knew that anywhere was better than the U.S. for us. So that's a decision that you have to make. But I'm a living witness that you can make it. So we see that you have been very successful in your business, as you've just shared with us. What about in terms of like socially, politically, just day to day, how it is in America, how we feel there? And I'm from America too, so I know what that's like versus how you feel here in the Gambia as a black man. Totally two different worlds. I can walk around with my hair however I want my hair to be. I can wear whatever I want to wear. I can walk down the street being black and not worry about being killed, you know, or shot down because of the color of my skin. You know, um, it's amazing. It, I mean, it, there is no comparison. You know, whereas, you know, uh, when I'm in the safety of my home in the U.S., I'm reminded of our people being killed and shot down. You know, <clears throat> when I'm at work in the U.S., I'm reminded that this system is it was not created for us. 
you know, uh, but when I'm here, I feel like I can conquer the world. And so just remember now, 30 days of being in this country, we were able to start a business that is literally thriving. You know, uh, last month, as I shared earlier, you know, we met budget, you know, in four months. So um, I'm, I'm encouraging everybody to take a serious look at Gambia uh, or anywhere on the continent because it's going to be a much better uh, uh, situation for people that look like me. Thank you, my brother. I really appreciate you sharing that knowledge and encouraging our people to come here. And I'm hoping that they will see this video and take a chance on Africa because I can agree that it is so much better. It is just such a better environment for us. We're Absolutely. not black here, we're people. We're people. We're just people and you're mm -hmm. free to be a person. And, and, it, and it's refreshing to walk down the street and look at a billboard and see our faces on the billboard or turn on the TV and see commercials uh, uh, dealing with business and all kinds of things with our color people. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no whitewash, there's no, there's no, you know, and uh, again, this is nothing against anybody of any other ethnicity, but it's time that we celebrate our own. It's yes. time that we see uh, 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 figures and positions that we aspire to, to, to go to, you know? So yes. um, I'm telling you, it's all here, it's all here. I can't tell you how many people I've met from the diaspora, you know, that are coming in, starting businesses, being successful, helping Gambians, helping themselves and putting themselves in a, in a better position. You know, they're building dream homes, starting businesses they, that they could not start, although they had the credit score, they had the money, you know, but couldn't start it because there were systems in place. This is the land of the free and the home of the brave. Yes, thank you, my brother. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Right. We appreciate you. Thank you.